believe we want to show some footage of the damage and just some of the uh, some of the video that we've accumulated over the course of several hours tonight. As every one of these pieces of video is um, about as uniquely wild as the next. First of all, just keep in mind that here we are again in the middle of December, ten days away from Christmas. And we're not talking about a winter weather event. This is a big time, almost spring-like setup. So this is Ogden, Iowa. Thank you to Sue McConnell for this video. Uh, she did it, it looks like, safely from the, uh, maybe the front, ooh, look at that. It almost, I'm not sure if that's a flag that, that's ripped up or if that's actually maybe a, a portion of her house or something that we're seeing. But every, every once in a while when the sky illuminates it's from the lightning, like you can see that uh, it almost looks like maybe a siding possibly coming off the side of her house. In any event, that's maybe secondary to just the frequency of all that lightning. It almost looks like a strobe light going off, right? But uh, in this case, it's Mother Nature's strobe light. Tons of lightning. This storm has been wildly electrified. Also, the fact that you're seeing whatever that is flapping in the breeze is the simple fact that it's extremely windy. Marissa and I were talking. This is probably the video of the night. I mean, boom. Wild. And it really does fully demonstrate the strength behind these straight line winds. So this would be out of Lincoln, Nebraska. Earlier today, the video recorded out of a state trooper's uh, camera. And here it happens once again. The wind just knocking over this semi truck here. And this is why actually some interstates were closed down. They've usually put bans on tractor trailers as well as any high profile vehicles that are more susceptible to these strong winds. And you actually notice right here, you'll notice on the left side, another truck goes right past him, mm. this driver. Uh, you'll see it in a second. And I, I haven't seen any confirmation. There goes that truck right there. But any confirmation of any injuries or whatnot. So hopefully this driver was okay, but I can only imagine how terrifying yeah. it was to be in his position or her position. I'm not sure who was driving here. Yeah, it's a big big time crosswind there and that uh, semi truck just couldn't, couldn't stand up to it. Here we go again. You wanna talk about a bunch of lightning that's uh, just one right after another. This is Ames, Iowa. Thank you to Damien for sending in this piece of video. And, and again, you know, it should be noted, first of all, this is a nocturnal storm. And then second of all, this isn't even, the storm isn't right on top of Damien as he's taking this video. He's just recording this off in the horizon. I don't really see any rain whatsoever falling. So either that storm is passing by or approaching and hasn't quite fallen right on top of uh, his, his, his location from where he took that video. And still, you know, you're seeing lightning like that. And uh, that's something that, sure, you would expect to see, oh, I don't know, maybe in, in Louisiana in July, not, uh, not, you know, in Iowa in December. Terrifying, right? Absolutely. And here we are. I mean, we saw a lot of this activity on Friday. And in that case, we had very strong, powerful storms coming out of uh, areas through Arkansas and Kentucky. Now you're looking at Iowa uh, with this tornado that was confirmed on the ground out near Atlantic. And we're starting to get to see some of these damage reports come in. Um, certainly terrifying to be in this position out here at this time. Uh, when you see those bright lights, more than likely hitting a transformer or something electric, you get the lightning as well associated with this. Um, but we're seeing some of these damage reports come out of the area. And of course, the National Weather Service will be out here more than likely tomorrow once they get the daylight to really take a look at the extent of the damage and what strength tornado we're dealing with. That we won't know until they go out there. And it is a system, a scale that is used where you look at um, the structure that was damaged, what, what exactly are we paying attention to with the twisting and the, the strength behind some of these winds, and then they'll go ahead and rank the tornado. There we go, yet another piece of footage of Unreal Lightning. I believe this is on a loop here. Uh, Independence, Missouri, and just one right after another right there. Uh, right now, we're kind of recapping things. We do have a minute to catch our breath. No more tornado warnings on the board. Still have several severe thunderstorm warnings, though, and we'll go ahead and cover those here in just a few moments. Stick around.